hatuwezi amaliza ni mengi mengi mno mimi tulienda nchini Tanzania kutoka DRC tulienda tu kwa watoto kitu kama elfu mbili na kadhalika tumepitia mengi magumu lakini Maulana ametulinda Mimi si kupata nafasi ya kukaa na Wakristo mimi nimeishi na Waislamu peke yao Waislamu ndo nimekana wao sijakana na Wakristo nimekana Wakristo nikiwa hapa Kenya peke yake Watoto wenye walienda tulienda sehemu tofauti kwa familia tofauti mimi nikakaa kwa familia ya Kiislamu ndo nimekana wao si kupata malezi ya Kikristo Alhamdulillah namshukuru Maulana kwa kunipa nafasi nipate wa ndugu zangu ni wata siwajui lakini sasa hii nimewapata Alhamdulillah Kwa kweli sina mengi ya kuzungumza Nimekuja pale nijitambulishe tu peke yake tu sina mengi ya kuzungumza nimekuja tu mnione nijitambulishe peke yake Mwenyezi Mungu amenilinda kwa makubwa Nimekaa barabarani miaka mingi sana. Nimekuwa yatima nikiwa na miaka mbili. Waliua wazazi wangu. Nikabaki mimi mwenyewe binafsi. Nikajilea, mimi nimejilea nikiwa na miaka kitu kama kumi hivyo sababu mahali ambapo nilikuwa naishi Huyo mama mwenye alikuwa ni Lea alikufa. Kukufa huyo mzee akaoa bibi mwingine. Kwa bibi mwingine ikawa shida. Ikabidi niwe chokora. Nimekaa Dar es Salaam. Nimekaa Pulungu, Mozambique. Nimekaa Malawi, nimekaa Zambia Rusaka. Nimekaa Nyaruguzu kambini. Napita mambo mingi sana kuna yale ambayo mimi siongei but alhamdulillah namshukuru Maulana subhana wa ta'ala kunipa nafasi niwe hapa na simi simi mwenyewe peke yangu hata kuna wale wengi wengi sana wako Tanzania kuna wakristu kuna waislamu pia hapo ndani sababu au twagie twagie mijangu itandukanye tumeenda mahali tofauti ndo maana kila mtu ako na thakatha yake mimi niko na thakatha tu Islamia mwingine ako na thakatha ya, ya Bakristo but alhamdulillah alhamdulillah Mwenyezi Mungu ndo ulinda mtu na kila mtu ako na imani yake Mkristo ako na imani yake Muislamu ako na imani yake na, na imani inalinda mtu na imani ya mtu inalinda mtu kwa kweli naishi hapo na Mungu awazidishie sana kwa kuja ku kushiriki ku, kwa shiriki letu na wenzetu hapa Asante sana Kwa kweli ushuhuda ambao nitazungumza ni ni ushuhuda wa, wa kimataifa Nobuhamyago It is a very big testimony kama namna nilivyozungumza As you know I have already said Mimi ni mmoja wa wale wameenda I am among the people who were kidnapped Mimi nimekufa nikafufuka I have died and have resurrected Nimekufa nikafufuka I have died and resurrected Niko hapa kwa ajili ya Maulana Subhanahu wa Ta'ala I am here because of the Almighty God Sintazungumza mengi ama yote kwa ujumla but dogo tu sababu ya muda eh, wameua wazazi wetu watoto wenye wamebaki wakawachukua hapo ndani palikuwa watoto wa kiume na watoto wa kike tumepelekwa nchini Tanzania. You have been taken to the country of Tanzania. 
kwanza tumepelekwa place inaitwa Rugufu ilikuwa ndo camp ya kwanza Tanzania Rugufu it was the first camp that we went into Mwisho tukapelekwa Nyarugusu Lastly we were taken to Nyarugusu Tukakaa hapo we were there Tukakaa tukakaa we were continuous thing there kuna wale ambao walipata bahati ya kwenda Ulaya those who had opportunity to go upside, outside the country lakini watoto wameenda place tofauti my children have gone to different countries kwa familia tofauti to different families mimi wenye wamenilea ni waislam those that have entered into into as a muslim au ndo nimeishi na wao kama wazazi that's where i live with them as my parents hata ni kwa sijui mimi ni nani even though i don't know who i am hata sasa hivi mimi mwenyewe sijielewi even now i don't understand myself sasa hivi mimi sijielewi mimi ni nani to now i don't understand myself ndo maana that's the reason waarabu wanakuambia mayhudi ila fana mdulala mayhudi ila wala haja mtu mwenye Mungu amemuongoza kwa njia sahihi ni ngumu kumpoteza na mtu mwenye Mungu ameweka kwa njia mzuri ni ngumu kumpeleka kwa njia mbaya when god has led you it is very okay when you go in the right way but when you go in the wrong way it is also kwa kweli ushuhuda wangu ni mrefu sana so my testimony is so large ni mrefu kabisa. It's very big. Alakini nitazungumza kwa ufupi. I will speak in short. Kwa leo nyamenilea. Kwa leo nyamenilea. Those that have raised me. Sikupata nafasi ya kukana wao. I didn't have a chance to be with them. Huyo mama mwenye wa kwanza mwenye anilea hapo anilea vizuri sana. The first one who used to raise me the first mother couldn't raise me so well. Akaoa wa pili. And then he, she, he got he got married to the second one. Huo wa pili. The second one hakunipenda. Didn't love me. Hakunipenda kabisa. She didn't love me at all. Hata nilikuwa namomba pesa ya shule ananinyima. I could just ask for the money of fees and she used to refuse. Alakini ilibidi mimi mwenyewe nijisomeshe sasa. So it made me to just educate myself. Mimi primary nilikuwa najisomesha mimi mwenyewe. I myself in primary I just educated myself. Na chakula pia najitafutia mimi mwenyewe. Most of food I just find it on my own. Alakini mambo hiyo ilitendeka nikiwa na miaka 15. But all those they happened when I was 15 years old. Sababu niliona maisha ilikuwa shida ikabidi niende nchini nani Dar es Salaam because life was hard i had to go to Dar es Salaam nilifika Dar es Salaam after reaching in Dar es Salaam na niko mtoto mdogo naomba kazi nyinyi mwa kazi this is child so if i could be go to work si kupata mtu kunipea kazi kabisa no one could offer me a job but mwisho nilikuja kupata kazi afterwards i came to find a job kazi ya kuuza maji our work of selling water kuna maji wanafunga kwa there is water that they tie kwa karatasi hivi ya baridi mtu anatembeza tembeza hivi. Nilipata hiyo kazi. Nilifanya hiyo kazi kitu miaka kama tatu, miaka mitatu. Miaka mitatu nilifanya hiyo kazi. Maisha ikawa ngumu sana. Life was so hard. Maisha kuwa ngumu. After life being hard. Ikabidi niende nchini Malawi. Nilifika Malawi. Malawi Nikatafuta maisha ikakataa. Nikatoka Malawi nikaingia Zambia Rusaka. Rusaka Zambia. Rusaka maisha ikakataa. Life was still hard. Nimetembea pesi mingi. I've walked a very, very I've been to many places. Nikitafuta maisha. Looking for life. Sa zingine chakula sina. Sometimes I don't have food. Kupata nguo shida. Finding clothes it's a problem. Eh, lakini kitu kitu yenye naza waomba but something that i am requesting ukiona mtu ni choko kwa barabara usimdharau someone is just a street boy don't labda ni ndugu yako maybe is your just your brother eh, mimi yeah. nimehangaika sana i have suffered a lot sana sana a lot si kujua kama naza vaki hapo kama hii i didn't know that i can wear this kind of shoe lakini sasa hii alhamdulillah namshukuru maulana but now almighty to god i thank him na zai ntaishi hapa usinza zungumzimenga sababu ya muda because of time kwa matare wogo wogo kwa matare na watambuke ha to so come forward
As they are come forward, we'll continue saying. This is a very difficult moment. This is a very But today I am weak. But we'll just because we know God and we have hope that we'll see them. Uh, in few words, in summary, because they have helped us to be quick, we can say and someone just feels you want to say it but let us hurry it has already been said at that time in those days we a lot of things praying it was a usual thing praying fear of those bad news but the country is not good it was a time for fasting and we went to church at 11 at 9 and that's when the service started people continued coming and we were many that's when the people came they find us there we were not few people they saw their people they took men they divided themselves differently I think our leader, the chief, was not there that day. He started asking where he is because they knew him. They explained. They asked a lot of questions. At that moment, they told them, what makes you not for us to intermarry? And they answered. They said us. We'll kill you. All these men. And the little children. But. These your ladies, your girls. You refuse to give us in a peaceful way. We are going to marry them. At that moment, we felt fear. We thought they would kill us, all of us together, as they had planned and wished for. But the way they had said it in that way, we felt fear in ourselves. We are afraid, and also the elder men. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm called Nyaribuka. That's how many people know me. I can say it. I'm Chantal. Otherwise, when they said that, that's what I've seen. I was a parent with one child. A little child. Uh, those who had no children they said they didn't just tell the men that way they removed their shirts and tied them and say they are hungry and that time is when the government they want people to go and cook for them so they should be taken to take into the region so the men couldn't have shoes seeing that it was a difficult decision to make they started choosing for themselves they had guns and they were many 
They went just the way you're seated. All those faces. They see who is beautiful. A woman, a girl. They just point a gun at you. They say, stand up. If you can't, they want to and say, stand up in good. You say, you kill me here, just. They took them. Otherwise, they say, just feel Ease. Just, just cooking, just go ten of them. After reaching there, almost two, I have already skipped a lot of things. One among them, almost like 5 p.m., that's when one said, you think they have gone to cook? That's what they have said. It is they are not lying. They have already started putting it to action. They took them to the schools schools or in the hospital of Canos. Others, they took them to another end of region because that's where they could protect themselves. They cut them into two. They divided them into two pieces. That woman came. I feel like saying everything. She told us the reason I've come back is because the person who took me found me that I am on my period. That's the reason. But others, they have been killed. We felt afraid and fear. We felt pain in ourselves. And then she came. It was at night. They took us. They, took, they removed us from the church. Took us into a house. And men, they have already removed their shoes. Already the shirts were off. And then started tying them at the back. And then they took them to another house. And then it was night. Nice. You would have a way of just putting themselves together. Like the little ones, they go to one side. Because that was their wish. They went to one house. They could see it. At that night, there were people who were slaughtered. But God was there. When I remember, God protected me. I had a very little child. I feel like I am a coward. I went within the house where there were elder women, women and, elder women and, women and women. also the children who has lost their mothers. They went and they filled us up there where you could lack a place for you to stand. After sitting, I sat and one of my child was near the chin. And all my body, they were filled with other children. They, and then they locked, they locked at the, at the back. They locked with the padlock. They told us to among you once to begin, say, no, one of my bullets, we have a much box. We are going to kill you. We are going to make this place to fire. We thought that how it is. The death is what we want. No, no. But again, at that time they didn't kill us. At that time they was the They said, "Give us water." We drink. They screamed at that night. Those children will give them water to drink. You see, as a child has come up, sweat. We couldn't have a way to turn ourselves. 
I remember there was a child who was like I can't remember an elder person looked at him and then removed a, a cassava and gave it to him and then had to make the child to eat it and then the child had to come back to life at that time they continued saying all those things I was in the house where I was with elder women coming to look for the young ones at night they could just see where they could touch you feeling breast of our own if you are elder they take you at that night we couldn't see when it has come morning it was okay. after in the morning one when you have already given birth to one you couldn't know how you have left the mother in law child after maybe two kids. That's why they tied us. They said because we are go you bring water. In our house there are food. And also these animals they are new ones. They give us because it is theirs. We started continuing continue working as if you're going to bring water. If you want to just help yourself. That's how many of us remained. That's how we survived. That's how we moved out of the houses. There was a barren woman 12 years. But she wasn't afraid of leaving the child to them. She died afterwards. A woman called Asa. He was beginning. He left the mother a son of two months when he was already having another child of three months. He went without looking back because of things that we have seen. Let me jump and skip those. They went when we went when we were already gone. We went with three. Others have spent it three days. When they brought them in Varaka, they took them. Before, father-in-law was so old. He was old and he was blind. I remember when he was brought out he wanted to catch him so that we can show him the back of the house. They came and slapped me. Said, leave that name. Even though he's old, he can let's leave that snake when you are a snake your child is a snake I left him I left him when he was just going to see he was just crawling he was crawling I still remember that they took they took him to Baraka after reaching this was not the only things that were done when they were about to be killed they said let us undress them and make them naked we see how their nakedness is of Mnyamulenge they took trees they used to make them sharp they used to just make you five women came back I myself I was there Nyahirwa Nyamatungo and Dorothea and Yoram. They said the news to us how you could leave your husband and your children. He had six children because there were seven the family. We saw the death that we have never witnessed. After starting to kill people they said be aware be aware these snakes of men beat their heads until they are fine beat their heads until they are fine try all your best after killing the men that dead there are also other three called Peter and also 
bari bavuye mu biraro they were from there bageze nyuma yibaraka mu muhana and the back of baraka nawo ngo babasanganije amasuka they found that there are swords baba ha amasuka bari yimbira they gave them swords they had bamare kwimba babashiramwo they put them bakazababwira ngo nibitabikyo bonye and said just cover yourself nibuka petero na se wanyarusarebe and then like can't remember the other Barabwira ngo nibiyimbire they said bury yourselves babashiramo they put themselves ngo bamare bakaza babasingiza amasuka ngo nibitabe ngo nibihagera then they said just cover yourselves bury yourself and up to at the west then we'll help you they were here such kind of words <laughs> man it may god help us ubwo ngubwo that moment abo badamu those women basize bisha abana babo they their children were dead basiga bisha abagabo babo they killed their husbands nibo batubwiye ayo makuru they the ones who told us those news batubwira ngo mwumwijima mu gicuko they say at night in the midnight abagore bata 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 bisha abagabo cyane barabamara barabaherereza barabaherereza they were all of them they were killed ku bagore but when they reached at the moment they just did them because they are tired no, no, the no, no, if you are not beaten, if you are not dead, that's where now it has reached a point. People died. People fell and said, if women remain with no But before the men were finished all, one man was stood up called Muragizi. Father to Serugo. He stood. Yari manya na iwe umuko umuhungu wiwe yari ashatse umukobwa wa muragizi vuba ho nga they were family related kandi muragizi yari aherutse gupfusha umugore muragizi had already had a wife kandi ndi yarabari mungo again another wife no no ngo abone bahagurukije muragizi so you see that the muragizi has already been all men are now going to be killed you are going to remain he stood up he stood up and he was a very huge and then he hugged when he fell she fell in the stomach they took the sword and then all of them together it was passed through and then they all died that time that woman told the news all of them they were just they fell into her because of the blood that covered her it was the one that covered so she survived that way at the midnight they said let us see if they were still alive that's when they survived they came. You can see this kind of family. You don't die to finish. May the innocent and just be done. Many were like this and others were born afterwards. And though it is this way we will live. Condolences to those who are listening for the first time. And I'm saying in summary. We can say and say many. But we request rest in peace. We shall see them in heaven. Let us stand up also remember them. It is so hard. It is so hard. People who died because of how they look. How God has created them. I will say news in a hurry. In my life, I don't take much time at the podium. We have come to remember those that have left us. Also as we were there. What made us to survive is the plan of God. I'm called Shikuro Claude. I'm born in Bivumu. 
I am a survivor in 1996. Uh, it was the 13th. Uh, nicho gihe That's the time that we were able to reach there. Uh, kumusi wa mbere. It was on Monday. When we reached, it was on Friday. Uh, we rested there at Saturday Naniyenga. and also on Sunday. On Monday, it's when they captured those five men. Dudu. Among them were Dudu, Muhubiri. Muhubiri. Kajonga. 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 Sebahinda. Kajonga. Kajonga. They captured them. Together with the cows, they took them. Where we were still there. Almost four or five days we spent there. At night, the Thursday night. When in the morning it was about to be Friday. That's when they started shooting us while in the houses. They shoot many people and they died. Those that remained are the ones behind me. And also those that are not here. Fourth, on this Thursday night, morning, it was Friday. Uh, the, co the bodies of uh, brothers and our sisters. It used to be carried by Babembe and they were afraid of our home. They passed through as well. They were carried by the wheelbarrow. Being carried your parents on a wheelbarrow it is a very dishonor thing. Hajumuntu, Pastor Afterwards, we moved from that place. Okay, you Afterwards, the morning, we couldn't sleep there. They took us. They took us to Kwamboko. I will continue jumping because you have asked it to. We reached Kwambogo in the evening of Friday. We spent there the evening. At night, we went to the sand. That's where our parents, they were taken and also our brothers. They used to undress you, the shirt that you are wearing. They remove it and then they tie you They could just throw them in the boat. They're going to, go to throw them in the ocean. They threw them in the ocean at that Friday night. They went two times. Afterwards on Saturday, those that they threw in the ocean at night, they are those Vogorots. He's my elder brother. We were notified when they had the screams being beaten. When he was being killed. When we heard the screams, some went to see. They found that it is their brother. They came, they gathered him together with others. Afterwards, on Saturday, there is a child who died there. They buried he, him on the sand. On the sand, on the sand, the water could come. A very little boy. A very little child. He was. He died. 
At that day, the men that they have captured on Monday while they were looking after the dead. They took them outside, they had captured them in Kwambogo. They told their wives to come out and see them. They saw, their wives saw them. And they waved goodbye and then they went back inside. We moved from there. We left them there. There is a woman who was called Luce. He was a Dean's. He was married to Mufuri. He couldn't leave them even for once. He was with them. Where they say death. I'm going to repeat about the death. Whatever they burned them, it was not just a normal fool. They went for the woods. Itself, the they went themselves, they collected charcoal. That Lucy can be able to say the news. They went to take the wood. They put them all those wood. They tied them unto it. They could tie you around the fire. fire. At that fire. Those those charcoals that they have already done. A person is killed by just those moisture near the fire. There are many people who don't know that kind of death. And also as we went asking a lot of times. But that woman said it so well. To be tied and you are being brought near to the fire. Until you die. There is a girl who has said that already died. He didn't, she didn't die. She was shot on the hand. The sister to this girl. The sister to this girl. She didn't die. He was, she was shot at the hand. We left her there. They refused that we carry her. And also that another person. They shoot him almost here. They refused because to take them because they were not saying much to them. They made them their wives because they were dead. And otherwise, they were known that they were not dead. After, after removing us from there, we left our elders, our brothers, which they died that kind of death. That's the death that I can be able to describe. That's the death that they died. That woman is the woman who told them about the death. Because us, we were just waiting to die. But she was near them. Those were the information that we received from her. They took us with the boat. We went to a boat. They took us. Uvira. Uvira. They brought us. They used to give you two biscuits. They brought us a biscuit. And also a cup of water. That cup of water, everyone felt like that side. Because there was a lot of jobs. We were so hungry. Afterwards, they removed us from there. There was a policeman, an officer. He went to ask so that to request the killers. He said every Youth, from the person, the child is a baby. No longer breastfeeding, they remove them from their mothers. To take us so that they can kill us. They were not allowed. We were not allowed. That officer, they were doing so bad things to us. They aren't allowed to do this. Because they also had plans of doing that to us. They had planned the plan of killing us. And also the other one was requesting to kill us. So they refused to give us. After refusing to give out us, 
An officer one stood up. When he was about to shoot us, all of us at that stand, there in the border of Vira, there in Kivuko, Paul, when he was about to shoot us, he was out upon us. It is God who protected us. It is God who saved us. It wasn't a miracle that was going to happen. Because also the first ones they had already been killed. They took us from there. We spent a night in Gegera. We slept in Gegera. There is where they say that we slept with the bodies. Example like a survivor. He was still breastfeeding. When the mother had already died, they had to remove it from the breast. You can see he was like with the body of the mother. It is a very small kid. But now he's old. He has wife. They came. Then they removed us from there. Towards we reach in the morning. I can't say days because we, they have told us to hurry up. I could say days, hours, all those. After removing us from Gegera, they took us in Kamanyura. After reaching there, that's where us, we survived. Now I'm going to wind up they said every man, every man, gender, they had to separate us. Divided us and put us on our queue. Saying we are going to throw you into the sea. All those that the survivors were there, they are the ones who helped us. I myself, I was saved by them. I myself, they were the ones who saved me. And if they could be there from the first time, I they are the ones who saved us. They say no one should be shooted. They felt fear those policemen who were about to throw us in the ocean. They had to fear those people. They told us go. At that time they also were afraid of being there. But if it was people who were just sacrificing themselves to die, they would have done it for them also to die together with us. Where a policeman fears the others, yet they all have guns. You, you leave out the captives. Because you, you can see that we are standing here with my brother's father and women. That is where we survived. So because of the young ones and our elders who died, those are the kind of death that they died they died a very horrible death. There is a time where they had captured us. We were captives after shooting all on killing. But Furero came and found us where we are. There was a um, Furero called Vitam. He had a sword in his hand. He used to just put it on a sword on a gentleman. I, him, on the same region, he told us he'll come to kill us. He was in the same house that we were with uh, him. Purero, the ones that we know with our eyes. Remember, and also the ones who came to protect us. They were the ones who, to, who killed us a horrible death. If we are here, we want justice. Everyone who has done us bad, they are still living because you also living. They haven't been judged yet. The youth who are here, the men who are here, justice must be done. We still have hands for us to fight for our country. There is nothing that we are doing here. There is no one that will justify us. It is us ourselves to justify us. I, I have six children here. Only six and I'm satisfied. Come, let us go to find our justice. And again we shall be given to them. I am a reverend I have a church. I have church here. Every time to justify, we 
and find wherever it is. And also not finding us where we are proud of. It won't find us here. They will find us where we have died. That is where we will find justice. That's where we justice will find us. So as we can be given our country. And those who have killed us are still alive. Those who died. I wish them goodness in peace. There is a day that we'll find them. We'll go unto them. God in heaven to help us and protect us. Until now he's still protecting us. Let me request I know you have remembered them. For remembering all those who have died. Who have died a very horrible death. Let me request you in your whole your honors and value. Help me and stand up. Let us remember them in one minute. Because of the horrible death that they died. As you are still standing, remembering them. In Bugegera, they removed one child. It was a camp. One girl child. I can't say the name of the guy. They took him into the camp of the police. A one girl. So that they can do bad things to us. And that one girl is still She didn't die. Those who died, may they rest in peace. Let us take that one minute. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May God strengthen the brethren. To tell the parents who are here. Women and men. And the children who are present here to stand to come forward. In the few words we'll say they also be here. So we are waiting for you to come forward. So let us continue giving the testimony together. Vumo, all of you, you can come forward. Namagaji, all of us, our testimonies are together. I'm called Serukundogirion. I am a citizen of Vivumo. My civilian, many words have already been said. In 1996, uh, in September, uh, there was war that happened. After they came as servants, the one who was sent, as they have already been said, after telling us that he was going to protect us then, because in Ivogobogo was already captured, all people had already fled. I myself, I was looking at him. The Shikiro father to him came. See, the meeting has come so that you should go down there. I, because I was an elder person, I didn't understand it in myself because you should go to the way it is where you are fleeing. Because the great word, I respected him, we went down. At that time, it was on Friday. 
Tumaze gushika nasanze kera abantu bamanutse. After reaching I found already people have already gone. Arika abantu babiri bari bamanutse bari bitse mu rwega. But two people who had already reached in. Hari hise pasteli rusingizwa. Pastor rusingizwa. Hiswa ika na pasteli rugendibonga. And pastor rugendibonga. Abandi bose bari bakiri mu misozi hagati. The ones they were still in the hills. Bamaze gushika rero barara hantu witwa ngo ni mutubundo. After reaching they slept in a place Waze kuba mu mugoroba in the evening sebagabo umugabo wabadinzi wari uri hariya sebagabo ubunyina tu ya America now he lives in America adutumwa ntumwe aravuga ngo abatabazi bamenye kuko hari ikibazo cyabaye rero bavuze ngo abantu bagumaho ngo kuko gave us an information that people have already been bishoboke kuko badutabara because the help might come rero byabaye ngombwa kuko bavuga ngo tuje kugarura abantu so it was a must that we got to bring back the people Muba manu sinarimbari mwo. Dusanga abantu bose baraye mu tubondo usiza abagabo babiri bise. amakuru yamanuye. Ndamubwira ngo ubwo ko bwacu ndi bumenyereye kugwara malaria. Yari kibazo gihari kuko mwavuze ngo muturinda ni mutuzamurire abayobozi kugira ngo baturindire hari harwe kuko igihe cyo kibaraka abantu barashize kuko bari bari baba bishwe na malaria yarabyumvishe ahagurukana nabandi bagabo babiri ahagurukana no witwa mutayibara with the one called Mutayi. Ahagurukana no mugabo witwa Sabahinda mukuru wanje. Also my elder brother. Baragenda bashika mu rwega. They went and they reached in Gweba. Kuko bari bafite intego zo kutumara. Because they had at the aim of finishing us. Chef Murumba yahe sababwira arababwira ngo ubunyine ko muri itindira amaboti arahangaha ni muze muta mudasigwa nabandi kuko kabera ya madiko. You should you not to be left out when others are going. Kwebwe tubonye bamaze kugenda twahise dufata umugambi wo kuvuga ngo tuzamuke. Turazamuka kuko twari dufite abakecuru nabana. Turara mu musozi hagati. Hanyuma rero afterwards ugatondo turarenga mu bivumo haza kuza umugabo wo mupfu rero kuko batatwifuriza amahoro aturuka mu nziriza mu magaja yuvuye mu magaja uzurenga uko karangiza bivumo akome induru aravuga ngo he screamed and said barya bafasha abanyabibogobo ngabi nyuma yanje baraje namwe baje kubakorera ibyamfura umuntu yazamanuka akatinga gatoki asubira kandi kumanuka kuko tutaza tubona umwanya wo kurya njewe nari nakiye hantu nagiye guci bisheke ngo ngushike mu muhana nsanga nta muntu hari ndabaza ngo se byageze gute niki cyabaye baravuga ngo abantu bose kandi basubiye Where has everyone gone? I found they have already gone. Hanyuma rero twarakomeje kuko pastor yabivuze muramza. Turagenda tuja kuri nyagisozi. Abandi bamwe biwacu niho bamanukiye. Where our own had already gone down there. Ngwaza ko umusi wiyinga. In the at Sunday. Diado narahuruka atuzamwo. Avuga kuko abantu bose bapfuye bashize. Turahunga twagarukiye muri kabe mwe duhuye nabatabazi. Ngo twashike rero baratubwira ngo se abantu banyu mwome bamenye kuko bagihari. Je basubira barantuma ngo ugende urebe nimba amakuru nimba yuko abantu babagihari. Nasanze ise wanda mahize abantu bose baramuzi. ndamubaza ngo ese abantu barahari. Arambira ngo inya abantu barahari. Usibye abo bahungu batano nibo bashorenka nibo bagiye kwambo. Tariko abandi bose baracyahari. Ndazambira amakuru abatabazi. I went in for mothers kuko bari bakaya cyane baragenda baja mu bibogobogo ngo bave mu bibogobogo rero bavuye rero mu bibogobogo ni bo bashanye uburaka ariko bwo kwenyegeza baramanuka rero 
They went and they started killing people. People of our own, they died on Thursday in the morning. It was on Friday. I went with Gatavazi. I was with him. I was with him. After reach, I about to reach the church of Methodists. We found there policemen over there. Those policemen they asked us who are you when they asked us who are you we couldn't we couldn't we said I told we say us we are so they started shooting at us they shoot us two people we were civilians they took us all of us at a side they were calling people where are you where are you they took among one person in among the tribe of Babembe and he said your people they have already been killed at night we felt sorrow in our hearts at that time, only one person survived then to the hill he was called Nyagis that man was found but um, because he had married to that tribe they told him come let us hide you after reaching there in the father-in-law he was given to my mai and then they killed him and slaughtered him exactly at the door when Killed by his no, father. But imagining being married to them. But when they want us, they find us and they find us. Otherwise, what's remaining? We won't forget those who have left us. Because what we are remembering now, uh, it is ending today. But ours, we have already buried them in the ocean. Otherwise, may they rest in peace. Amen. Amen. I have already said my names. I used to live in the region of Bogobogo. That's where I used to serve God. In the church of Methodist. Under the leadership of Serentanga. That's where I used to serve God. Now I'm in the country of Kenya. I'm serving God in the gate of peace led by Bishop Asa under the leadership of Reverend Nehemiah can stand up wherever you are I'm under his leadership may God bless you this is how it went in Ivogobogo in February 2nd we were in Kavera. There used to be a prophet called Mariam. A lot of times we used to work for the work of God. After reaching then the 2nd of February, people told us about their friends, those that we worked with in Kavera. They told us about what was being planned. And if you see in Vavembe and Vapurero, a hundred, fifty, they are bad people. But other fifty, it is good. Because they are the ones who told us the news. They said there is a plan that is being planned in our own tribe. We were there at that time in Kavera. They are being planned of how to be killed those in Ivogobogo. Reverend Mahota, they used to also be there. And also 
also the region of Vivogogo. In the 2nd of February, that's when we were informed. We went home. In the September, September 19th, it was on Wednesday. All those months that have passed so that I can hurry up. It's when I was lived, I was living in Tanganyika in, that room. in the chief by the chief. When that time of those news of people being killed. There were chief called Sarama. Saramba, he was removed because the chief of that time wasn't, could not allow that to happen. Because Saramba had his own people that will fight against them. Saramba, they removed him on the leadership. Then Chief Murumba was the one to be anointed. That chief was the person who made us bad things. And also the other chief, those ones, they were the ones in Kavera. After planning the killing of us, chief of our own group, he said and he called all the tribe of Mamalenge. He said the war has come, but I am the chief. I'll continue to secure you. There is no thing that will happen to you. I'll give you protection. And I request, I request the pastors to come down to here in Turuem. I tell them that I'll protect them and secure them. After telling us, we, we sent three pastors. We sent three pastors. Up to now, one of them is alive. Setanda Samson, until now he's still alive. We sent Pastor Ruhara, until now he lives. Those are the people who went down in Rwanda. The chief of the group of the department made us to believe that he'll protect us. Afterwards, he sent people saying, we'll protect all of you. Because at that time there was war. And we know that the chief should protect us. There is nowhere else that we have gone. That's when we say that we should go there down the chief to protect us. Afterwards, when he has already told us, in September 19th, 1996. It was on Wednesday at 5. Because things have already been prayed there down, as we couldn't have known, at that moment, I still lived in the district of Magaj. I was a leader of that church. In the morning at 5, I already, I was in the camp, heading those who know in Vibogobogo. I was looking after the kettles. Being in the center of Vibogobogo after finishing it, it's when I saw the war that was in Vibogobogo. I saw all the children in Vibogobogo have covered. I see people are fleeing. The cows, they were fleeing. They had to stop them at a place called Gisonga. Because I was in front, I saw they have brought back the cows of Bogogo. It's when I brought others that I was looking after. I'm the one who screamed in Vagaja, saying that the country has already 
afterwards people fled people fled after fleeing because we saw that there is no other rescue we we should go to that person who said that will protect us that chief that's meaning all this region Vivumu we went down there saying the chief will protect us. The first group went. The second group it is where I was in. We slept there. We slept in the hills. On that day I had to go down. I was with a lot of people. I walked all that way to Bivumo. That's where our headquarters are. After reaching down there, I met with the Mubembe called Deni. He was our friend. We did the work together in Kavera. I saw that he's coming. He said, I have been sent by two men. And been sent by Pastor Muhanda and the Pastor Munyamahoro. They have told me that things are so bad. So that we have sent Deni. He's a Mwembe that I lived in Mwembe. Up the road. That's where he lives. Told me the command that the chief has given is this. He has given an order tonight, seeing the tribe of Mnyamulengo of them to be killed. But because we have grew up in the work of God, then Kavera. You cannot die. You cannot. So all of these people that you have, take them back because others who have gone, they are going to be killed. All of them, after listening to that, he said all the meeting has already been done the, at night and at that, that moment there is a man who survived at that time a man called Diagoni Nagora up to this time he lives even that victim he was killed and his family his wife and Rusange is here it's the time they kill the mother, you can sit. Afterwards, after telling me the news, he said, go tell all the Mnyamulenge, no another Mnyamulenge to reach the chief. Because you are given out an order for all Mnyamulenge to be killed. I went up I went in Bivumo. I took all the people back. I went in Yagisozi. Took all the people again back. Saying to them, the chief, when he told us that he protect us, it is, wasn't about protecting us. It has been killing us. At that day, all the people went back. I returned all the people back. That's how it went. I condolences to all the Vogo Vogo people because you are warriors. They were leaders of the church. They were women. They were mothers and children. Condolences, all of you. I tell you, be strong. Be strong. The elders who are here, the children of ours who are here, also the leaders who are here, that is, those are things that happen in Bogo Bogo. We used to know that those will protect us. They are the ones who gave up us to be died. So, your condolences. May God help you.